Welcome to the A-Star Cloud PBX Quick Start Guide, presented by Vox Telesis. Today we'll be configuring Vox Telesis SIP trunking on your Yaystar Cloud PBX. Trunks allow your PBX to communicate with the public phone system. Without trunks, you would only be able to make calls to extensions that are directly connected to your PBX. Before we get started, you will need the following information. Your SIP trunk domain name, username, and password. If you do not have this information, please contact Vox Telesis and they will provide it to you. We'll start by clicking on Settings. Click the Trunks tab. Click the Add button. Give your trunk a name of your choosing. Enter the provided domain name into the host name field. Enter the provided domain name into the domain field. Enter the provided username into the username field. Enter the provided username into the authentication field. Enter the provided DID into the DID number field. Enter the provided DID into the from user field. Enter the provided password into the password field. Click on the codec tab. Make sure that the only selected codecs are G729A, ALaw, and ULaw. Click Save when finished. Click Apply. Once you've configured your trunk, you will need to verify that it is properly communicating with the Vox Telesis servers. To do this, we'll start by clicking on the Applications menu located in the top left corner. Click PBX Monitor. Click the Trunks tab. If your trunk status has a green check mark, congratulations, you have properly configured your Vox Telesis trunk. If your trunk status has a gray X, there might be a misconfiguration in your settings. You will need to go back to your Vox Telesis trunk settings and verify that all necessary fields have been filled in correctly. If you are still having issues, you may need to call Vox Telesis and have a technician assist you with troubleshooting. If you have any further questions, please check out support.voxtelesis.com.